get that crowd? We will beat. Hello! How's it going? What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword! We're closing in at the end of the story in the last episode. We beat the chairman, he turned himself in, and we caught ourselves Eternathus. And I'm gonna say Eternathus is one of the coolest looking Pokemon in history. I mean, I have not seen the legendaries for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet at this point, but if they look cooler than Eternathus, I will be amazed. Regardless, well, who knows. I'll just have to wait until they actually announce it for like, the legendaries and all. Anyways, this episode we are finally going to battle Leon, and one thing I need to quickly do straight away is look up what his first Pokemon is. Because for those who don't know, um... We got our butts kicked a bit, because... Golurk got one shot by an iron in here, and I need to figure out what he starts with. Oh, I just looked up the tutorial. He actually has, um... Catches a that's not it. Where's the page? This one? Ah, here it is. Oh, hang on. Oh. That's not gonna help me. Where is it? Oh, if the player chose Sobel. I didn't know there were three pages worth of stuff. Okay, okay. Wait, is there a difference in this team? Holy crap, there actually is! I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, I have the page up right now. So... I need to start off with Eternathus, because his first Pokemon, I'm not going to like. And I would start off with Bioshark, but it's got Sacred Sword, I'm not surprised. And before you say anything, no, he does not have, uh, what's his name? He doesn't have any of the Sacred Swordsmen, and for those who don't know what the Sacred Swordsmen are, don't worry, you will see them eventually in the series. Right, I've saved the game, everything is above, and here we go. I need a drink of water, because I've been feeling a chocolate syrup in my mouth. <sighs> That's better. Alright, here we go. Looking around. My matches are always sold out like this. I never see a crowd this wild. I mean, who knows? Everyone knows that you did us this week, Victor. They know you're the one who caught Eternatus and saved the future of the gallery. A real hero battled alongside the legendary Pokemon, Zashi and Thomas Edger. Sorry for the pause there, I had to pull up my pants. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Oh? Also, this is the uh, dialogue if you actually put Eternatus in your team. Oh? And you've even added Eternatus to your party. Greatest challenger along with the most powerful Pokemon. Is that it? Now you're really getting me excited. Come on, Victor. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Gala's history. No, a match that'll change Gala forever. And yes, are you guys ready for. We're gonna have an absolute champion time. I timed up right! Okay! That caught me off guard. Anyway, prepare for the best music of a champion I have ever heard in Pokemon history. Behold! Yep, here we go. We are challenged by Champion Leon. And this is why I'm starting off Aggie Slash! I mean, I beat him with 60s. So yeah, Aggie Slash is a starting Pokemon, and I'm going to do my turret, which will only do much damage. I should expect a hit, but expect nothing less from your team. But it's going to stand to change, which is a dumb idea in my opinion, because its defense becomes attack, and it's got Flash Cannon. What? Give it Iron Head, not Flash Cannon. I know it. Here's the thing, I already 
though, because every single one I need slash I've seen has this move. But thankfully I'm not doing a physical attack. Otherwise my stats go down. And no one wants that. So I think this will finish it all. And get cooked. Yep, second attack. There we go, we took down Angie Slash. Alright, what's next? Have looks to for me. See if I can do better. Here's a hack for us. So guess what I'm going to do? Well, I need to figure out which one's stronger. Is it is a signature. 100 or 8. Well, do the obvious move. Dynamax Cannon! Whoa! I 
don't think people actually notice that, but I do. Now, I will say this right now, people do believe that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is the hidden gem of Game 3. But to me, it's hard to beat. And I still can't beat it to this day. I've tried now, I've tried grinding for hours, but literally like three months after grinding, I'm just like, screw it, I've had enough battling, I will just put this aside for the time being. But yeah, now apart from that, in Pokemon Shield, when I played that, I played that like semi blind So what happened was, I put through the cutscene, but when I jumped to the Pokemon Sword, I just, when the cutscene that showed off every single trainer, like gym leader, I just put the control down, and I was like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, and it caught me off guard that there were two different types of gyms. That literally was what caught me off guard a lot in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Because of that, I had a somewhat harder time to beat Pokemon Sword. But by the end of the day, I managed to beat it. And here we have proof I've actually beaten the game. Finally, the story's been complete, but the game will not be shelved just yet, because we still have a lot to cover, and that includes catching Zacian, the legendary Pokemon of this game, going through the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Yes, I'm going to 100% this game, not the Pokedex, but beat the game entirely, and I am going to spoil them something. When we get to the Crown Tundra, some legendaries you can catch that are shiny, and I'm going to spoil this now, but the four Pokemon are shiny ones, and those are the new ones, which are the Mario variants of Zapdos, Articuna, and Moltres, and the new-ish legendary called Calvin. Calrex and the two forces that come with Calrex, depending on which force you choose. I will explain more when we get to that point. But, the Reggies, you can catch Shiny. Every Legendary in the Max Adventure, you can catch Shiny. The only Pokemon I probably won't bother to catch Shiny are the Sacred Swordsmen. Because they are, you can catch them Shiny, but it's a lot harder to catch them. Because here's the thing, just spoilers right now, Cobalion, you can catch him Shiny, but it's just going to be in the Hailstorm, which he's the hardest to catch. Even I've had trouble catching him because of that stupid Hailstorm. Uh, you can, I've never caught Thryzion or Terrakion yet, I still need to find those. So, I will explain all when we get there, but until then, it's probably just a long way to go. So, Game Freak, if you are hearing this, this is your gem of the Nintendo Switch franchise. And I am also excited for Pokemon, um, Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, because those two games are probably that interesting as well, and yet I haven't played yet. Thank you, everyone. So yeah. Yep. And the end. Now, sadly, this is not going to be the end of the video because we're only 18 minutes in and I want to aim for at least half an hour. So even though we beat Leon this episode, um, I think we could probably get Zash in this episode too, maybe. I don't no, we'll see. But, as you can see, yeah, that's a start. Now, I am going to grab this off the bat, like, immediately. But yeah, look at us. We're back in this room. And, hang on. Oh, doorbell. Hold on. Something. Congratulations, champion. Here, I got a little something for you as celebration. There it is! There's the Master Ball! I forgot it was here! I forgot you got it here. I thought you got it, like, earlier in the story, but nope. Maybe I was just playing too many Pokemon games that gave it to you earlier. The best Pokemon with the ultimate level of performance. With it, you can catch any wild Pokemon without fail. Professor Magnolia, why you didn't have to come all this way? After everything Victor has achieved, it's really the least I can do. Could do. 
The wishing star that made Dynamax impossible are a part of Eternatus, and when Eternatus was awakened, Dynamax energy flooded the entire region. Because of that, Dynamax Pokemon were popping up and up all over, causing trouble all across the Gala. Across, all across the, the Gala. I don't know what she said. But Victor and his friends came to our rescue. The Dynamax phenomenon has long been an important part of Gala Galarian culture. I hope everyone will use the power of Dynamax incorrectly and in the days to come. So, young Victor, please do his best. And there she goes. Now, I didn't notice this, because as soon as we turned around, I just noticed it. Poor Professor Cavalier, it seems she's quite bothered by the chairman's actions, since she helped carry out so much of the research against Dynamax. Yep. I didn't even notice this. I think that's an Eevee. Yep. It's the... Huh? I didn't need to look at the bed. Oh, you kind of interact with the poster. Okay. Well, I see a Pikachu's tail. I'm not surprised. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this item, and I think I might end the video here. This is a shorter one, but that's fine. I might just end it here after I show this off. But we're going to go grab this really quick. Uh, bike. I forgot to have a bike. Now, after you beat the game, you're actually going to get this. So you are to go in here, go up the stairs into this room here. You'll notice this Pokeball right here. There is a Pokeball with a Charmander in it. You read the ladder attached to the Pokeball. If you're reading this, Victor, then I'm leaving this special Charmander to you. Let's hope, a, let's have a real fiery battle against you. Best Leon. That's right, you received a Charmander. Now you're probably saying, Charmander? This late in the game and you get a Charmander? Yep. But this is no ordinary Charmander. I'm gonna add it to the party. Because we're gonna level it up a bit. So, uh, Baratic, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm gonna bench you. Charmander will be added to the party. Now, if you come into here and you get Charmander, this Charmander may be level five. But, da, 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 da. see the Psychon in the corner? This Charmander, and Gigantamax. Yes! We beat the entire game, and we get a Pokemon that can Gigantamax as soon as you beat the game. <laughs> so yeah, now its moveset's not great and all, but, even though it has a blaze, but it has, as you can see, this is our first Gigantamax Pokemon. But we need to evolve it for Charizard to use that purpose. So, Anyways, I think this might be a good time to actually finish the episode. So, next episode, we're going to actually, for reals, start doing the actual side story-based stuff. And that includes catching Zashian. I'll see you all in the next video.